legal people. I gotta put some more for this one. Okay, I think it's a little bit too tight on me. Letter to the NAACP. Really, really, you are getting upset over a uh, Hallmark card. You gotta be kidding me. Okay, words misinterpreted, and it sounded like black hoes. Okay, here's the thing. When you mishear stuff, most of the time, you're going to hear something totally different. That's why it is mishearing stuff. But you got to, sometimes you just got to think. Sometimes you got to listen closely to stuff and think about what is going on. And if you think about it and see, oh, space, black holes. Now, saying it in a kind of quick way, it kind of does sound like hoe, but the, <laughs> anybody with a brain knows that they're not saying black hoes. What is with this ambulance chasing mess? Like, I know there's a lot of racism going on in the world and stuff like that, but... <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Like, first, that stupid funeral for the N-word. Yeah, that, that didn't do anything. Nigga, please. Yeah, thank you. Anyway, um, but <laughs> this takes the freaking cake. And this is why so many people do not take a lot of racist claims very seriously. Because people want to take any type of smallest thing. And this is the smallest thing. And blow it out of proportion. And you, this event, just epitomized it. Oh my goodness. Like, I'm not trying to insult the intelligence of the people who work there, or you, or the, just anything, but at the same time, think. Think. That's all you have to do. Think. Like, sometimes you just have to listen a little closely. It's like, Oh, they're saying black holes. Like, seriously. <laughs> like, I, I, I'm, I'm very, 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 very ups, upset about this. Like, if you want to fight real racism, and I'm, and I'm not trying to um, steal anybody's thunder because there's a preacher at Village of Faith that... um claim this but if you want to um deal with some real issues how about you go fight arizona protest against arizona with their laws or any type of um all these other mess on um, the drug traffickings and everything like that how about you go f um protest that make conferences about that not some stupid hallmark card because you know what whether you like it or not it's going to be racism. It's going to be racism all over. If it's not a bigoted person, there's going to be some something there. And sometimes you will have to pick and choose your battles. Black holes, black whores, Hallmark card is not one of them. You misinterpreting something is not worth some type of big news um, announcement that was just completely stupid and now I don't like people demeaning well women in general or even black women but at the same time you gotta think that's basically it that's basically it and you pull all these shenanigans it's like the slightest thing even with, even with, oh, uh, dang, what was it? There was like a lot of incidences where y'all just like blew something out of proportion. Oh, the Barack Obama thing. You did not want to support him because he, please, please tell me this is not true because I could be messing this up. And if so, then I'm sorry. But did, at first when he came on the scene, you said you did not want to support him because he wasn't black all the way or what he wasn't black enough. Really? Really? The man... Do, do you guys just think about stuff sometimes? 
before, you know, just come through, have a group session discussion and try and check with each other before you, like, go out and do these conferences. Because this is getting ridiculous. The N-word thing, the, of the N-word funeral, that's stupid. Brock, um, I think he did something for him at one cartoon show, Where the, where, the, uh, where My Dog's At. Where um, they were making fun of something Snoop actually did, which was have women on leashes. And you said, oh, they're making fun of that. And they, they, they're saying that black women are dogs. No, they're making fun of something Snoop actually did. They were making fun of a portrayal of Snoop. Uh, they were making fun of a depiction of what Snoop was doing. That's what they were doing, making fun of that. The message wasn't towards black women. It was towards Snoop. I know that's an old one, but um, it just goes to show, like, so much y'all need to, to, I don't know, maybe you need new members, new leaders, new something, like, because this is getting ridiculous. Like, are you seriously that, trying to be that ridiculous that you can't, I just don't get it sometimes. Like, we must fight racism, but sometimes we got to think about what we're doing, think about what we get mad at, what we're trying to fight, and how we're going to go about fighting it, if that makes any sense to anybody. I just can't think straight right now. <laughs> it's a big stream of conscience, but still, seriously, NAACP, Get it together. All right.